uh, one of my mentors, uh, my predecessor, a woman who served in this body for 10 years from 1999 to 2009, Delegate Amundsen, and uh, Chris Amundsen, I hope you'd uh, give her a warm house welcome. We're delighted to see uh, Delegate Amundsen with us today. We miss you more than you'll ever know. Uh, <laughs> gentleman Fairfax. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I love you, too. Um, <laughs> uh, my second uh, introduction, Mr. Uh, Mr. Speaker. Mm -hmm. um, Ladies and gentlemen of the House, uh, joining us in the gallery today, uh, and the reason the Delegate Amundsen is here, we have uh, seven students from uh, West Potomac and Mount Vernon High Schools, two of the best high schools in the Commonwealth of Virginia. And they are here today for a program that I have entitled or called the Amundsen Institute. Uh, I would ask that they please rise. The uh, Amundsen Institute, Mr. Speaker, is an opportunity for some of our young leaders from the Mount Vernon community and the Lee community to come down to Richmond and see how they operate. Uh, it's composed of juniors and seniors who, de who demonstrate a high potential of leadership in our community. They're hosted today by their high school, or by one of our high school governor teachers from West Potomac, Nicole Borghardt. Uh, the average GPA of these students is 3.97. They, uh, they're involved in National Honor Society, governor's school, student government, swim football, gymnastics, and band. They're going to be attending meetings throughout the day with our leaders, uh, with people who work with us, with cabinet secretaries, and they actually have a meeting with the governor. But uh, we're very excited to have them here today to show them how Richmond works, and I would ask the House to give them a warm House welcome. We're delighted to have the students with us today, and we congratulate you on your accomplishments and know that we'll see many, many more in the future. Thank you for coming today.